Well, hello there. How are you awesome people doing on this beautiful day? It's a little cold. It's a little dreary, but we're still going to call it a beautiful day. Well, the truck isn't up and going yet. I, uh, boy, guys, it just wouldn't stop raining, you know, so I figured I'm going to run it up here to the shop and we're going to get things fixed up on it. I'm going to have them do a few other things on it before I take it out of there. So that's what we're doing right now. It's just waiting on it to get fixed. But that's not what I want to talk about today. Um, guys, when I was on vacation up in the Black Hills, we stayed in Hill City, South Dakota at a great place called the Lantern Inn. We've been staying there for a long time, and I can't say enough good things about it. This, uh, I don't get paid to say that it's a good place. I never would take any money to say that place is a good place. But... I wanted to do something to Drew and Wit just to show my appreciation for the hospita hospitality that they treat us up there. So I put a video together, and uh, well, this is that video. We're gonna put that. I'm gonna show you that video real quick, guys. And after the video, maybe we'll be fixed up and ready to go. So go ahead and watch this. Guys, I want to welcome you to the Lantern Inn here in Hill City, South Dakota. This is my go-to place. I've been coming to the, the, to the Lantern Inn for probably nine years in a row now. This place is the real deal. If you're looking for a ritzy ditzy, have your own robe, bottle of champagne in your room, no. This is a five-star motel. Let's talk about accommodations. Look at that. That's a big parking lot, guys. You can bring your trailers in. You can haul your side-by-sides, your motorcycles, your show cars. You have places to park. What's that? You love the fish? Guess what? The Lantern Inn has its own stream. And yes, there's trout in it. I catch it, and I'm not a trout fisherman. Or you can just stand up here on the bridge, watch the trout or watch the stream go by. Because yes, the Lantern Inn has its own bridge. Look at this guys, it's a walking bridge that leads you right to paradise here. You forgot something at home? You need to go get it at the grocery store? Guess what guys, there's a grocery store right across the street from the Lantern Inn. This right here, guys, is why I love the Lantern Inn. Look at that back there. That is Wit. She's one of the owners here at the Lantern Inn. And you got Drew. Where's he hiding? Drew's right there. These people are probably the nicest, best owners you will ever find in a business. These people will take care of you. They will treat you like family. And I love that feeling. I love when I come to a motel and I chill out, I get treated well, I actually get treated better than family sometimes. Shh, I didn't just say that. Guys, I want you to meet Gabe. Gabe is the owner's son. This kid knows everything about fishing. Gabe, can you tell me a little bit about your stream? The problem is it rotates and the hardest fish to catch in there right now is the trout because they didn't restock it up. They didn't restock it this year? Yep. But they stock it every year, don't they? They stock it every year other year except this year except for this year what are you catching all those trout on i'm only catching them with a tiny weight and then a hook at the bottom and that's and it put a worm on it and that's it yep what's the biggest trout you've ever caught out of your stream a one pounder trout you caught a one pounder out of there that's insane you got any other fish and stuff you want to tell them every time just make sure and don't forget it does when you're fishing, you always gotta know some fishing tricks. Oh, you're gonna keep those tricks to yourself? Probably. You like it that mom and dad own a motel, don't you? I love it. You love it? Yes. Yes. Alright, guys, that's Gabe, and this kid will tell you everything about fishing. 
If you have any questions about anything in the motel, this kid will give you anything. All right, I'll let you go play, all right? Okay. Thanks, Gabe. Okay. All right, while they're back there talking, I'm gonna show you guys something. I don't like to show people this because, well, this is my room. I call it my room. Of course, you guys can have this room too, but when I'm here, this is my room. Let's go walk around it quick. Remember, we've been staying in here all weekend, so get your fridge, microwave, toaster, coffee maker. Two queens, most comfortable beds you will ever find, even more comfortable than home. Dresser, air conditioner, heater. And look at this. Man, I love this place. Love it, love it, love it. Every morning I get to wake up, walk out the door, and 90% of the time I'm up early enough to where all I gotta do is take a little peek up on top of that hillside and there's usually deer running around. Wanna take a dip in the pool? That's right, they got one of those too. There's a hot tub. Guys, I'm telling you, the place has everything. While we're looking at your beautiful Lantern Inn you have here, Wet, why don't you go ahead and tell me your favorite part of owning a motel in the middle of the Black Hills of South Dakota? My favorite part of it all, I would have to say, hands down, are our extended family, aka guests. And your best guest would be? The Schmidt family. There you go. I love you, Wit. <laughs> I Thank love you. you guys. Yes, the Lantern is raised right on the main highway coming into town. But here, let me show you guys this really quick. You will pull in off of the highway. And you hear the noise back there now. By the time you get to this speed bump, or by the time you get to my Explorer right there, the noise will be gone. And then you will have your own safety in here. You see, you're gonna have the kids running around, the kids playing. This is all just, it's like your own little private getaway back here, tucked away off of the highway. I'm not kidding, guys, you cannot go wrong staying here. This is literally the best place to stay if you're going to stay in the Black Hills of South Dakota. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, guys. Lantern Inn, pet friendly. Pet friendly. All right, guys, instead of me just sitting here talking about the Lantern Inn, I got two of, well, they own these beautiful machines I've been talking about. I want to ask them, what do you guys like about best about the Lantern Inn here? Honestly, it's the closeness. It feels, it almost puts you outside the, into the wilderness. It's enclosed here. Yes. The family could be here. Kids can run around. You don't have to worry about it. Yep, it yep. is. And it's just, yep. it's amazing it's, for that. Yeah, it's very... Home, homey, just like you're at your family. own mm -hmm. own house. It's yeah. very, very uh, cozy. And just going out, out and off roading all day. You come back. He lets us set up. I mean, Drew does an amazing job here. And the room, and I mean, the rooms are always nice and clean. Yep. They're never dirty. Yep. Everything's beautiful here. And it's just like we're our own little community here, off of the hill city. And it's just real good spot and everything. Grocery stores across the street. And, yep. Yeah. If you, you know, need it's just anything, really nice. just walk right across the street to get something. That's what I like about it. Yep. yep. All right. Like I said, guys, like I was talking about earlier, the kid part, it's true. It's the highway's right there, but you don't even know it. People just, you can run around in the playground or in the playground, in the parking lot here and just have a great time. All right, guys. I got one more interview to do. It involves the owner of the Lantern Inn. Guys, this is Drew. Drew, I yep. want to know, what made you buy a motel in the Black Hills of South Dakota? Well, it was just an opportunity to move out to the beautiful Black Hills and meet a lot of people. And we're very fortunate that we did because we've run across a lot of great, great people. And um, it's a lot, of, a lot of work out here, but it keeps us, keeps us involved in the hills. All right, Drew, one last question, though. Yes. Who's the best customers you have out here at the Lantern Inn? 
As in a group of people? No, or as a person. As a person. As a person. Mr. Kurt Schmidt right there here. There you go. There you Trucker go. Trucker Kurt. Thanks, Drew. Absolutely. Hey, guys, like I said, he's a great person. Well, camera shy. <laughs> he's a great person. Gabe, I'm finishing up my video here. Got little Bud back here. Got you on your bike. You guys are gunning it and everything. Is there anything you want to tell the great people before we finish this video? It's always a good time. Have fun. And always do a lot of fishing. And don't forget every fishing trick. Awesome. All right, guys. That's the lantern in. I'm going to go ahead and leave their number right here below the screen. Give them a call, and I promise you, you will not regret it. It will be the best place you will ever stay in, in the Black Hills, and you will come back to this place. Until then, as always, guys, you guys be safe, and I'll see you next time. Well, what'd you think of that? I know the video didn't do it justice because that place is beautiful and they truly are good people. Guys, like I said earlier, it was not a, a paid video by no means. Eyes, it would have been done by professionals and not done by me, if you know what I mean. Well, right now we're sitting here at the shop still. We have, uh, we decided, I decided to take that uh, antifreeze cooler off of the transmission that we talked about last week and uh, I'm putting on an air cooler for it. And then I'm gonna have them do a few other things. As you can tell, it's nice and muddy out, and you guys know I don't have a garage to do this kind of stuff in, so it's just easier to have these guys do it, and they don't cost an arm and a leg to get it done either. Other than that, I'm going to wrap this video up again, because, you know, I wrapped it up before. Hopefully, I'll be back on the road with you guys tomorrow or the next day. We'll see. You guys be good.